Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Orlando Matters. I'm your host, Brandi Robinson. Today, we're focusing on teens and terrorism and the fear and anxiety that they have from the events of September 11th. So today, I've invited Patrick Wannis. He is a licensed hypnotherapist. He's been in the school systems. He's traveled internationally. Uh, he, he shares his time with students, and he really knows what they're thinking and what they're right. feeling. Thanks, Patrick, for being here. My pleasure. Um, Matthew Monroe will be joining us towards the end of the program, so we're going to start with Lauren. Uh, Patrick, before we start talking with Lauren, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how long you've been um, sharing your time with students? Um, my background's wide and varied because I originally started in journalism and showbiz mm -hmm. and then went on to uh, pursue entertainment. And then I went and studied hypnosis and I started doing hypnosis shows. And it was actually an American who said to me, oh, you should study hypnotherapy. And I didn't even realize it was an application of using the tool of hypnosis to make positive changes. So mm -hmm. he sponsored me and I went and studied hypnotherapy and decided that I could combine entertainment and hypnosis to actually help people make positive changes in their life. Um, in a school situation, it's about challenging students. It's about first finding out what are they really thinking? What do they feel about things? Having conversations with them that they may or may not have with their parents because they tend to be judged by their parents. Whereas when I walk in, it's, it, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's free. Mm -hmm. um, so the first thing is find out what they really think and feel. And then the second thing is to help guide them to some sort of solution or some sort of answer, or even help them actually question their own beliefs about certain things. So I think the main key of what I try to teach is teach teens, or even adults for that matter, in corporate settings, is you can do whatever you want, you can be whatever you want, you can have whatever you want. So the key is to hold on to your dream. When September the 11th came along, it instantly raised the question of what happens to teens' dreams now? Mm -hmm. um, Generally, all of society right now is focused on day to day. Mm -hmm. You know, how can we get through tomorrow? What about the economy? What about our jobs? What about uh, how, we, how will we be able to pay the bills by the end of the month? And they're all very important. Um, but then how does it affect you long term? How does it affect a teen who now is thinking, what, is my, what does the future hold for me? Mm -hmm. You know, can I still pursue my dreams? Can I still look at the board like an open slate? Those sort of things.